Welcome back. It's time to get our brassicas hardened off so we can get them in the ground. And I'm going to use the greenhouse. This thing has been through the paces and we will probably need to replace the cover this year, but for this purpose, it's gonna work just fine. There's plenty of shade in there. I can't put them directly in the sunlight at first because if I do, then the sun will just tear them up. It'll kill them. So I'm gonna put them in here in the, sun sh in the, in the shady spots and then as the days go by, I'm gonna give it three or four days and each day I'll put them in a little bit more sun. So the first thing I need to do today, I need to clean out a spot because it's been used as storage all winter long. I need to put the plastic down because the chickens can get in it right now. It does have this fence around it, but they haven't had a haircut in a while, so they can conceivably fly through and get in there. And they love, they absolutely love tender, teeny tiny brassica plants. Who doesn't? Right? They right. taste delicious. So, let's get to work. Are you ready for a montage? Clean the garden montage. We let it go to crap. Clean the garden of the montage. What is this? That is basil. Smell it. It's the Brassica School of the Hard Knocks. You can get you can get these clamps for like a dollar each at Home Depot, and if you don't have a bucket of like 50 of them, what are you doing with your life? It's good for everything. So another question is, why aren't we just planting in there? And that's because we've done brassicas in there two years in a row, and it's good to rotate your crops because the pests just. They get worse every time you plant it in the same spot. Look, there's a pest in there now. Oh my goodness. Case in point. So for the last couple of days, I've had these plants sitting here in the doorway with just the screen on to keep the chickens out. So they haven't really gotten any real sun yet, but they have gotten some natural light. So I think they're gonna be okay in the greenhouse. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Another thing, this is the uh, solo cups that I did the last video on. I have it, I have it double, double cupped here. Got holes in the first one, and then I've got it in here. And that's, I think it's kind of helping retain the moisture. It feels pretty good, and they look happy. They've got plenty of root area here, so that they get big and strong. Your job is to keep the chickens out till I'm done. pretty little green plants. It's like, I know, that's why I'm here. Go away. All right. So over the next couple of days, I'll move these from this shadier corner towards the sunnier spot. And then probably, I don't know, it's Sunday, so probably Wednesday, I'll actually pull the sod up again um, to let more sun come in. Get out. Oh my goodness. Chicken. You're worse than the kids. This 
see it stowaway here. I'm gonna take this one back. Um. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. Hopefully next time you see me, these guys will be in the ground. If you like what we're doing here, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Click the subscription button and click the notification bell so you don't miss anything. We'll see you next time. So here's an update on these plants I've been hardening off. Every day I've been giving them a little bit more direct sunlight. They're all tolerating it really well. Um, I have been taking them inside at night just because it's been like around freezing. Uh, looking at the forecast, I should be able to get them in the ground in a couple more days. And uh, I think it's gonna be good.